When you have any interaction with customers, you're showing them the public face of the company, which can have a profound effect on the success of that business. The customer service role is particularly demanding and complex as you're dealing with many types of people and requests. This makes it crucial for anyone in a customer-facing role to be trained, to develop and maintain a positive attitude, and also remain calm and professional during challenging situations when dealing with customers. A positive attitude doesn't just promote better relationships with customers, but it also makes you, a customer-facing professional, feel better about yourself and your work. It will help you avoid experiencing anxiety, uncertainty, and feelings of exhaustion, as that can lead to lack of motivation, frustration, and ultimately burnout. Here are five practical tips to successfully cultivate the positive mindset that will help you succeed in your work. The first one is to get to know your company's products and services. First and foremost, you'll be dealing with customers who have problems or are asking for information, and you have to know what's going on. You need to understand the products and services so you can help customers resolve issues and provide helpful advice. This aspect should be thoroughly covered in the training that you're given, but the ultimate responsibility is yours to make sure that you're on top of your job and can advise customers accurately and with confidence. One of the things customers hate most is being sent from one agent to another because the person who's helping them is not competent to deal with their problem or their question. The second tip is to be alert to your emotional state. This is a very important factor in developing and maintaining a positive attitude. If you can identify and analyze any negative emotions or thoughts you're developing around your work, you should try to address them right away. You will find that you can deal with them more easily and effectively immediately rather than allowing them to snowball and possibly get out of control later on. So develop a strategy to derail the negative thought or feeling right from the start. This training will teach you how to build resilience at work, control stress, and deal with negative emotions in a customer-facing role. Now, tip number three is to surround yourself with positive people. While you can't choose the people you work with, you can limit or avoid getting involved with negative people. Negativity can affect your mindset, so avoid as much as you can to be exposed to it. This means to steer clear of gossip and repeating rumors. These can be destructive, negative, and detrimental to building good team spirit and positivity towards the company you work for. Instead of complaining, focus on things you love about your job and what makes it rewarding. A positive attitude will help you overcome challenging situations and build strong relationships with your colleagues and customers. Tip number four is to smile and start each interaction on a positive note. If you smile, you may very well make the people around you smile as well. A genuine smile is a simple but effective way to not just make yourself feel better, but it will more than likely carry over to your coworkers and the customers you're dealing with. A friendly, cheerful, and welcoming face or voice is what every worried or stressed out customer wants to be greeted with. This is particularly important if you've dealt with a difficult customer or a complex problem. Try never to carry over any negativity or tension to your next interaction. So you need to remind yourself to start each interaction fresh and on a positive note without a previous one influencing your approach. And finally, tip number five, put yourself in your customer's shoes. If you can manage to see the situation from the customer's perspective, that's a very positive start to your interaction with them. Show the customer that you understand their situation and that you will do your best to help them quickly and efficiently. Doing so will diffuse a stressful situation and make the customer less aggressive or defensive. Remember, your goal should always be to have a happy, satisfied customer who knows that they've been listened to and helped.